There's only one thing we can really talk about after what's happened in the last 24 hours. Pochettino sacked by Spurs and Mourinho appointed their new manager 12 hours later. Who saw that coming? Because I didn't. As bad as Spurs have been this season, sacking Poch and getting Jose in? I really didn't see that coming. Surely that's not going to work. It seems like a mad appointment to me. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But Levy, a tight-fisted chairman who does not like to spend, and there's a big reason why Poch left or was sacked, working with Mourinho, a manager who likes to spend big very quickly to build short-term and instant success. It's a weird combination. I don't think it'll work, but Spurs have a great squad already. Maybe it will. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But for me, it's an absolutely... Mad decision by Spurs to sack Poch and get Jose in. But maybe when you look into it a little bit more, it was an obvious decision to make. The Athletic have released a column on the Poch sacking written by Jack Pitbrook, David Ornstein and Adam Kraft and offering some real insight into what actually happened behind the scenes. And in the column it was said there was a feeling in the dressing room that Poch had lost it, that the players had lost faith. But some of the players only found out about the news when he was sacked, some of the staff only knew about it on Tuesday morning. To a lot of people, it was a big surprise. But to a lot of other people, it wasn't a surprise at all. Poch said after that Champions League final, had he won, he probably would have quit as Spurs manager. So it was that high of that Champions League final and the big low of losing it to Liverpool was the beginning of the end. This summer, apparently, it was very tetchy between Levy and Pochettino, who wanted more money than was spent, even though they spent quite a bit on like Ndombele, on Los Celso, Sessignon coming in. He wanted more to rebuild, and Levy wouldn't give it to him. So there was a standoff between the manager. He refused to resign. He was sacked. Mourinho was appointed Spurs manager. I just can't get over the fact that it was Mourinho who came in. But if you want to know a bit more about the whole Poch sacking Make sure you follow the link in the description. Go to The Athletic. Use that 30-day free trial if you haven't already because it's a real fantastic column with some actual genuine insight. And that's what The Athletic does offer. Times like these, fantastic articles. Ad-free, top-class set of writers. And as I said, follow that link in the description for a 30-day free trial and 50% off an annual subscription. But because Poch is now available, it asks a question of United. I am massively playing devil's advocate with this video, but it's you can't bury your head in the sand and not talk about it because clearly Pochettino was the manager that all United fans wanted before Mourinho was appointed and probably after Mourinho was sacked as well. But it didn't happen. United went for Solskjaer instead, but now Poch is available again. Does Ed Woodward backtrack on what he said in September when he said that he would not be distracted or influenced by short-term distractions. Now, Pochettino becoming available is a massive short-term distraction. United didn't sack Ole when he went through that terrible patch. We've come through and into this international break in a little bit of form. Convincing win over Brighton, attacking football, scoring multiple goals. Two goals in the first half on more than one occasion. So things are on the up and it probably couldn't be a better time for Solskjaer really because had we gone into the international break, sustaining that bad form, there'd be a lot more calls for Pochettino to immediately replace Solskjaer. And what I want to do in this video is run through your opinions. I posed the question on Twitter, with Pochettino being available now, should United make a move? Or is it a case that we do stick with Solskjaer? We stick to the plan that we're currently on? Or does that all change now that Poch is available? I'm gonna run through loads of your opinions that you sent across to me and give my opinion as well towards the end of the video. The first reply I'm going to look at is from Lottie Gunnar Solskjaer is a fraud. Interesting name. Hostile. You already know the answer. Ole is staying at Man United because people like you will never want or ask for Ole to be sacked. No matter how terrible or incompetent he is, a masterclass from Woodward and the Glazers. There is a, there is a weird hostile nature to quite a lot of United on Twitter at the moment. I don't know where it's come from. But it's hostile. And if you're a supporter of Solskjaer, there's a lot of people that are going to point the finger at you for being a sort of Glazer apologist. But I'm just looking at United in a different way than you are. I'm looking at it from a far longer term plan. And that's the sort of thing I see under Solskjaer rather than the short term aspect that we've been doing under Moyes, under Van Al, and under Mourinho that hasn't worked. Begrudge me 
from wanting to see something a bit different with Solskjaer. Sorry about that. Second one here from Aaron O'Callaghan saying, Woodward doesn't deserve to make that decision. Should be a top director of football making that call. But no, that business genius always knows best. Now, Woodward shouldn't be making that decision, but the ultimate reality is he's our chief executive, so he will be making that decision, and it will be up to Woodward. Paisy saying, OGS is there to stay United. Let him finish his project. Anonymous United, you're saying, ideally, you want Ole to survive until the end of the season and then go for Poch. Interesting. Karen saying, strike for Poch and Harry Kane while the iron is hot. Kane United would be an absolute dream. Don't see that happening, though, even if Poch was to come. Leon Daly saying, keep Ole and give him a chance to put his stamp on the club. Although the results haven't been great, he has signed three players that strengthen the defence and shipped out a lot of Deadwood with another couple of transfers. It could be the start of something good. Taking a long-term look at it there. Uh, TNVR11 saying he's proved himself in the Premier League both at Southampton and Spurs, talking about Poch. Turned Spurs into a top four side and came close to winning the league and Champions League whilst basically having a transfer ban for the last four years. I don't really think you can question Pochettino's quality as a manager. As a man manager, he's helped make this Spurs team into one of the best teams in the Premier League prior to this season. And you're right, he did it on a shoestring budget. Johnny609 saying he has to get Poch in. It's a no-brainer. I love Ole, but he isn't the guy. Poch is a shoo-in. Johnny strongly wants Poch in then. Sudan saying Ole to the end of the season. Allow Poch to in a mini sabbatical, then bring him in. He's proven class. It's not the first person there to say Poch at the end of the season. Donald Power saying, even if Poch was Woodward's main man for the job, if he really wanted him so much, he would have got him regardless from Spurs. Now, I do agree with that. If United really did want Poch, we would have paid the, what, 20 million, apparently, the payoff that Poch and his staff have got from being sacked. If we wanted Poch that much, we would have gone out and paid it, although maybe Levy wouldn't have let it happen. Hank Moody saying Poch all day long. Prashamp saying, Ole is the director of football we need. Poch is the manager we deserve. Make it happen. Lokesh saying there's clearly a difference between Ole and Poch. The former wants to build a culture and a system at United, while the latter is someone who wants the club to reflect his vision. Man United are already committed to Solskjaer's project, so it would not be wise to sack him. And it depends how much loyalty you think United really do have to this project that we're doing under Solskjaer, because if we are sticking to this plan, then Pochettino isn't even a question. It just won't happen. But look at Harry Maguire. Woodward refused to sign him under Mourinho and then 12 months later he signed him for Solskjaer. So he does change his mind. Even if he says he's not going to get distracted by short-term distractions. Nithin George saying, what about Ole as director of football and Poch as the head coach? I'll give my opinion towards the end of the video. Da Ching saying, get Poch in to replace Solskjaer as soon as possible. Let's face it, Poch is a better manager than Solskjaer. No United fan will disagree with the fact that Poch is a better manager than Solskjaer, but it's, it's everything that Solskjaer is doing around the job that makes him so important to United at the moment. Carson saying Poch over Ole, hands down. Not the, Plenty of you have been saying that. Abdi Kadir, you're saying Ole, director of football, setting the vision, and Poch as a manager. Not the first person to say that. Paul Kelly saying stick with Ole. RRM saying in a perfect world, Poch should have taken over last summer after Ole's caretaker role. Now the timing's a mess because Ole's been already mandated to oversee some long-term strategy. No idea what to think. I think that's probably the most logical comment I've seen so far. I absolutely would have taken Poch in the summer. After Ole's caretaker role, prior to giving him the contract in March or whenever it was, it was premature. We all know that. It is... A minefield now. I'm not sure what to think because on the one hand, you've got Poch available. Poch is available. Go for him. And on the other hand, you've got Solskjaer's building something here. Good strategy in the summer. Mixed season so far. And that's being polite about it. But an upturn now going in. Players coming back from injury. Martial back from injury. It's just question marks everywhere. It's not clear cut at all. K Ving saying, I think Ole is gradually bringing United back to where he belongs. His attitude, signings and mentality. Talks about Ole needing to stay. He just needs backing. Well, Poch didn't get backed at Spurs. Look what happened there. I would say Solskjaer has been backed so far. Not completely. Otherwise, we would have signed some central midfielders in the summer, though. But you can see the foundations of what Solskjaer is doing. Ronak saying, mind says Pochettino, heart says Solskjaer. 
think a lot of people might have the exact same opinion as you. Ash saying there's no decision to be made. Poch wasn't a talking point before this and he shouldn't be now. Changing manager all the time isn't our game and shouldn't be encouraged when we've got someone with a plan already in place. That's the opinion I think I'll finish on there. It's an interesting one and one that maybe quite a lot of you will disagree with. Because if we are sticking to a long-term strategy, why does that all of a sudden change when Pochettino is available? And my opinion on all of this is there should be no knee-jerk reaction from United. It shouldn't be a case of us going all out to immediately get Pochettino in, get rid of Solskjaer, let him have the January transfer window to not sign anybody, and then another six months of somebody else building. What it should be between now and the end of the season, and what it is between now and the end of the season, Solskjaer knows he's got until May to prove himself. And that's what it is in football. You've always got to prove yourself as a player or a manager. The pressure is on Solskjaer now to deliver because Pochettino is available. Because if we go towards May and we still can't see that footballing identity. As I said in my video on the rebuild, I can see the foundations in terms of what he's doing behind the scenes and the culture and everything. But what's next is the football. And Solskjaer needs to improve that. He has in recent weeks, but that's a mini run of form. The first three months were incredible, but that wasn't sustained. If Solskjaer wants to be United's manager next year, he has to prove it between now and May that he deserves it. That he is capable of getting this United team playing how we should, week in, week out. Not with random performances. No inconsistency needs that consistency. Because if he doesn't, Pochettino, for me, in the summer, is an absolute certainty. And the idea that a few of you floated there of Pochettino coming in as United's manager with Solskjaer as the director of football sounds brilliant on paper. But it's a, it sounds like a football manager decision. Because Solskjaer, he might not show it, he's got an ego. Every manager has an ego. And I'm not sure that Solskjaer would be happy to have done all this work and then step aside, let somebody else come in and then go into a different role. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's exactly what he would do. And he loves United that much that he would step aside for what is a better manager to then become our first director of football. I'm unsure of what's going to happen. But for me, you shouldn't be getting Pochettino in right now. I think that'll be a knee-jerk decision by United and massively against the logical steps that I've seen us taking in backing a long-term plan with Solskjaer. For us to throw that all out of the window would be us repeating the mistakes that we made with Van Gaal, with Mourinho. And I don't want to see us do that again. But Solskjaer, the pressure is on you to now deliver the football that is needed between now and May to prove you are capable of the job. If you don't do that, Pochettino in the summer, if he's not already PSG or Bayern manager, that's an absolute certainty. But let me know where you stand on this. It's certainly another distraction that maybe Solskjaer and United didn't need. It's another question. It's another added bit of pressure. But you're going to be under pressure as United manager, as a player of United as well, every single week. Pochettino just makes it a little bit more intense. And Mourinho is coming back to Old Trafford in two weeks to face Solskjaer's United as Spurs' manager. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Football, by the hell. Football really is mad, isn't it? But let me know what you think about Pochettino, about Solskjaer, about the strategy. What do we do between now and the end of the season? Let me know everything in the comments below. And if you are new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe. Until next time, though, take it easy.